Okay, Philip, we'll call the uh, Jan the June sixteenth meeting of the Springfield Planning Board to order. Uh, calling the roll, Mr. Cunningham. Here. Mr. Minio. Here. Mr. Daniele. Absent. Ms. Morin. Absent. Ms. Filippo. Here. Mr. Florian. Here. Ms. McQuaid. Absent. Ms. Choi. Here. Uh, we do have a quorum. Okay. If you would uh, go ahead, you wanted to yeah, take just, out of uh, order. Yeah, just also just quickly for those that may be watching again, just to run the rules because of Zoom, these are two part meetings. Um, so uh, we have two continued hearings that will be heard tonight and voted on. The two new items um, will be heard tonight, um, but then continue to allow the general public to either comment and watch the meeting on, on the Zoom link, watch the meetings and comment if they, um, if they feel the need to at the following meeting, any comments received will be, will be read into the record and then um, voted on. Um, with regards to the, the, the uh, agenda tonight, I did wanna take for those that may be watching the meeting um, under public hearings, the zone change number 3222, there was an issue with how this was advertised. Um, the zone change was for 797 Berkshire Avenue, but there's an additional parcel that he wanted to have rezoned as well. I informed him that because it was not legally advertised as that way, I, it could not be voted on or could not be heard as, as advertised. So um, he is asking for it to be withdrawn. Um, I did just so the board knows, I did receive comments and some voicemails from um, the abutters who live on Bavin Street, which is directly to the north of the site. I did it for them. I'm not going to read those into the record tonight since this is since the hearing hopefully will be withdrawn or withdrawn. And he plan, does plan to refile. I did let him know that I received those comments and, and to have him make an effort to contact those abutters as well as the uh, neighborhood council again to, to see if, if those issues can be resolved before they're refiled. So if I could just get a motion uh, to accept the withdrawal of, of zone change number 3222 for 797 Berkshire Avenue. It's Rosemary. Um, so moved. Is there a second? Yeah. Thank you, Leo. Phil, you want to do roll call or just a? Sh no, I'll do. I'll do a roll call on this one. So, okay. Uh, voting uh, to accept the withdrawal of zone change number three two two two. Mr. Cunningham. Yes. Mr. Minio. Yes. Mr. Daniele absent. Miss Morin. Yes. Miss Di Filippo. Yes. Mr. Florian. Yes. Miss McQuaid absent. Miss Choi. Yes. Okay, so that, that'll be withdrawn. And, and again, just for those who may be watching, uh, it, when, once he refiles, um, it, it will be re-advertised again and notices will be sent out. Also, just a, a, a quick apology to the abutters. The notice, although it was legally advertised correctly, the notice I sent out to the abutters indicated it was gonna be rezoned to business Bs and that was incorrect. So um that was that was a mistake on my part but um again once the once the zone change is refiled it will be re-advertised and, and the butters will be notified again phil what neighborhood council did he contact indian orchard okay um so back to the agenda under public hearings continued uh, zone change number 3221 for, for 1021 Boston Road at all. Proposed zone change from residence A and business A to business B. Uh, the petitioner is Diamond Point LLC. Um, just so the board is aware, I, I have not received any additional comments either for or against. Okay. Do any of the board members have any other um, questions about the um, self storage? No. Just a reminder to the board that in addition to the zone change, this 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 will be coming back to the board for a site plan review once the once the once and if the zone change is ultimately approved at the city council. Okay, hearing no other uh, questions or concerns, I will accept a motion to close this hearing. 
Move to close the hearing. Thank Second. you, Leo. Thank you, Luca. Bill, if you would do roll call. Voting to close the hearing, Mr. Cunningham? Yes. Mr. Minio? Yes. Mr. Daniele absent. Ms. Morin? Yes. Ms. Filippo. Yes. Mr. Florian? Yes. Ms. McQuaid absent. Ms. Joy? Yes. Uh, hearing is closed. Okay. Good luck. Well, I do need a motion to. Oh, wait. Yeah. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah. I'll make a, a motion. That'll approve. make the meeting a lot shorter. We just skip all the votes. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Put pressure Thanks on. Lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot, board members. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the zone change from residence A and business A to business B. Second. second. Okay. Motion has been seconded. Uh, voting to uh, appro approve the zone change, Mr. Cunningham. Yes. Mr. Minio. Yes. Mr. Daniele absent. Ms. Morin. Yes. Ms. Filippo. Yes. Mr. Florian. Yes. Ms. McQuaid absent and Ms. Joy. Yes. Motion's approved. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the second item under continued hearings tonight is a preliminary subdivision for a lane circle extension. Graham Construction is the owner, uh, the engineer, R. Levesque Associates. Again, I, I uh, just for the board is aware, I, I have not gotten uh, any comments either in favor or against since the last hearing. Okay. Do members of the board have any questions or concerns? The neighborhood council did uh, go along with this. They approved it, correct? Um, I'd have to, I, I know they were certainly involved when, when this parcel was part, I don't. Yeah, I don't know whether. Yes, they did. Oh, okay. okay. And just again, just a reminder to the board, this is, and to people watching, this is, a, you know, this is the approval of the preliminary plan. So a definitive plan will still need to be filed and will do that and require, you know, uh, an, an additional vote from the planning board when, when that gets submitted. All right. Hearing no other questions or concerns, I will accept a motion to close this hearing. Motion to close the hearing. Second. Thank you. Thank you. Bill, would you do roll call? Voting to close the hearing, Mr. Cunningham? Yes. Mr. Minio? Minio? Yes, sorry. Mr. Daniele absent. Ms. Morin? Yes. Ms. Filippo. Yes. Mr. Florian? Yes. Mr. Quaid absent. Ms. Joy? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll accept a, a motion on the subdivision plan. I'll make a motion to approve with the following conditions or modifications. The preliminary approval shall be conditional on any and all approvals required from the Springfield Conservation Commission. Number two, preliminary approval shall be conditional on any and all approvals required from the Department of Public Works in the Springfield Water and Sewer Commission. And number three, no work shall be started on this development until definite uh, approval has been granted by the planning board and the developer has a fully executed performance agreement with the required securities. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Marty. Phil, if you would do the roll call. Voting to approve the preliminary plan, Mr. Cunningham? Yes. Mr. Minio? Yes. Mr. Daniele? Absent. Ms. Morin? Yes. Ms. Filippo. Yes. Mr. Florian? Yes. Ms. McQuaid, absent. Ms. Choi? Yes. Um, plan's been approved. Thank, right, you. thank you. Okay, uh, uh, the next item for tonight is under public hearings new, uh, a beer and wine uh, liquor license new location 1500 Main Street. Petitioner Springfield Wine Exchange LLC. Hello. I think Mr. Bonavita is here for me. 
So my, my hopes were, I assume you want me to address you, my hopes are to open a uh, craft beer and wine exchange, wine store, wine shop, I'm sorry, at the uh, 1500 Main Street, Suite 170. Uh, my expectations are to limit the hours. I'm, I'm not a young man anymore. I was in the business for, I've been in the business for 35, 40 years. And I'd like to just be uh, back in that business right now. And I think that's an ideal location to, to um, take advantage of what's in the building and to do some online business also. Um, that's my theory. I don't expect it to be uh, me to be pulling people in off of Main Street or off of anywhere else. I think it's going to be mostly what's in that Tower Square building. And I have no visions of grandeur. I'm retiring from where I work right now. Soon I will be retiring soon and I will be there full time myself to actually run and manage that operation. So. John Avita, could you just give your name and address for the record? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Could you just give your name and address for the record? I'm sorry, Carlo P. Bonavita, 24 Sylvan Drive, Westfield, Massachusetts, 0185. And it says here that you're going to be open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., possibly Saturday until right. noon. Until noon, right. And closed Sunday. That's correct, yes. Okay. So what was I, in in this area in the the shop before you went in? There was a gift shop in there prior to. I'm told there was a flower shop before and a gift shop okay. after. Oh, okay. Uh, I was wondering which which off, um, which uh, shop it was, but it's before CVS. Yeah, CVS From is the gone. Side before you hit CVS, right yep. behind the uh, hot table. And across from yeah. the large jewelers right now. Right next door, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I've, I've been in the beer and wine business for years, liquor business for years. You can see my, in the license commission, uh, my family was, my father, my brother, myself, and I just want to return back to it. I miss it, to be honest with you, and I want to return back to it. And I'd like to open a new business in Springfield. I think I've tried once before and it didn't work out, but I think this can work. I think we can do well. It's going to take me about a year to get it going. I'll tell you clearly up front, it's going to take about a year to get it going um, because of limitations with the pandemic and everything else. But I really think it's we're going to come back and we're going to do some business there. All right. And I want it to be different. I want it to be a gift shop more than a beer and wine shop. I'm calling it that because that's what it has to be called. But I really want it to turn into a wine gift shop is my theory. Okay. Now, because it's craft beer, will you be selling singles? No. My anticipation is not to sell singles. I will sell okay. the craft beers mostly come in four packs nowadays. Um, I've talked with White Lion. I've talked with my son who owns Westfield River Brewing. I've spoken to them. I've talked to another company called Two Weeks Notice. I will keep it local. I want local breweries, local mm -hmm. beers, but it's not going to be singles. I will not sell, uh, I'm going to say for another word, natural light, you know, 30 ounce cans or whatever they make them in now. I do not want to be in that business. Okay. I do not expect people to come in off the street to our shop. I do not plan on having that type of product. They okay. Not, they're not going to want to buy what I want, what I'm going to sell. Let's put it that way. All so right. The, wine, the wines I plan on carrying are higher end, but not high, I'm saying higher end, but they're better wines. I will have good prices as I've been in the business for a long time. I have some really good contacts in Eastern Mass as suppliers, and I really want to just supply out with proper, with good wines. No Boone's Farm then. No Boone's Farm. Okay. No really, <laughs> if they still make it, none of that stuff. <laughs> I was wondering if I was dating myself with that one. <laughs> you are, but I am too. You so. are. <laughs> you are, Gloria. Uh, okay. I I'll accept it. Business. I do not want that business. I, I, okay. That's not my intention at all. Do Everybody, any of the counselors have questions? How's that? I'm just glad to see that people are interested in coming downtown, starting new businesses, and uh, just giving that building some more life. I have sat in Tower Square many a morning in the last four to five months, having a cup of coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and just watching what walks by and what goes by. And in the last, I want to say the last 30 days or 45 days, I finally saw what I wanted to see, which was people returning to work in the building. And I saw the customer that I believe I can attract to my store. And they're the, the people that work in that building. And I think there's, there's, there's business to be done. There really is. 
I'm not hoping, I'm not planning on taking anything away from anybody else. Don't get me wrong. I just think there's business that's done before they drive home and go to East Long Meadow or Wilbraham or Westfield or anywhere else out of the area to get their wine. I think I can give it to them right there. And, and, and you know, it's okay. It's, and I also want to do the gift business. Um, I was previously with, with one of the businesses we had, we did a ton of gift baskets. And now the word gift basket, my wife tells me, is not what's in, but what's in are like tins and dishes and those kind of things. So I will go into that side of the business also, because I think that's a big part of the business. You know? Okay. I have to say, I love the idea. MGM had had um, a higher end wine. A uh, uh, store for a little while when they first opened, and it was really nice. So I, I love the idea of the gift shop and stuff. Thank you. I there's a room there that was a, was actually when it was a florist. There was a refrigerated room in the in the building, right in the back. Yeah, in the back. My plan is to turn that into a reserve room. If you've ever been to Italy in Boston in Prudential Center, they have a reserve room. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My plan is to do something like that on a smaller scale, but in that in that space. So. Now you mentioned possible food. What type, is that what you're talking about or what are you talking about? I, I'm sorry, I, missed, I didn't hear you, go ahead. I, I thought that I saw in the thing about possible food. Yeah, uh, my, my thought was to have food for the gift baskets, packaged food, you know, grocery. Oh, all right, not serving. For the gift basket. Okay. I would have them on, on the shelf for sale, no yeah. question. And I also might might do some, you know, frozen or refrigerated type things, hors d'oeuvres, that kind of thing, that be yeah. for sale for the people within the building on their way home and, and grab a bottle of wine with it. But my theory is really to, it's more for the gift baskets and the gifts ideas. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for, I hope you guys are happy with it. I'm looking forward to this. I, um, I'm ready to move on to this, this phase. I hope to get open in. I'm gonna guess sometime in September, but it might be into October by the time everything happens. Cause as you know, everything's slowed down with this, what's going on, so, you know. All right, if there are no other questions or concerns, I'll accept a motion to close the hearing. Are we closing it or postponing it? Uh, no, I, Excuse I, me, postponing, postponing, postponing it, sorry. Continue. Yeah. Motion to continue. postpone the meeting. Postpone, thank continue. you, Marty. Continue the meeting. Yeah, continue. Yes. continue. Second. <laughs> Zoom brain today. <laughs> uh, okay, voting to continue the hearing. Um, Mr. Cunningham? Yes. Mr. Minio? Yes. Mr. Daniele, absent. Ms. Morin? Yes. Ms. Filippo. Yes. Mr. Florian? Yes. Ms. McQuaid, absent. And Ms. Choi? Yes. Okay, the, this item will be continued until the next hearing and then be voted on. So my, my question would be, I'm sorry, if I may, we're gonna we're gonna postpone to the next hearing, which I think is gonna be the license commission hearing? Well, no, unfortunately, again, because of Zoom, um, the, the planning board can't vote on this tonight. So it has to go to their next hearing to in case there are any people from the general public who watch the meeting and wanna <clears throat> comment. I don't okay. expect that, but it unfortunately the way these Zoom meetings are running, that's that's the way it has to it has okay. to operate. Right. So, uh, Mr. Bonavita, what has the License Commission office told you about your first appearance before the License Commission? Uh, they were I was told uh, July fourteenth. July fourteenth. Yes, but I'm not sure if that's real. But that came from Anna. She emailed me the other day and asked if I was available for that date. Our oh, planning board a, meeting is the 21st. The 19th. The what? 19th? Of July, I think. That's a no, Monday. No. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the city council schedule. 21st is a third Wednesday. No, actually, no, I, the, the next hearing will be July. I mean, it's going to be the same night. I don't know what time the license commission meets, but the our hearing is July 14th. I'm not sure why. July 14th, that's the second week. Am I? Uh, well, because we only have one meeting in in July. So I think I, I I probably picked the wrong date, but that's that's the one that we've been, is that? Okay, uh, so July 14th. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to kind of, I think I try and get these a little in the middle so we don't hold people up, but unfortunately uh, we do only have one meeting in July and one in August. I suppose we could, 
I, again, I, I don't know what time the license commission meeting meets. Six, uh, five, five thirty. We meet. Yeah, it was five. I think she said five thirty. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. So no. uh, I'll, I'll chat with you tomorrow, Peter. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Thank you. So uh, quickly for. Um, I just do have a couple a &R plans I need to bring up here real quick. Okay. I'm going to share my screen here. Let me, let me know if you can see that. Yes. So this, this just happens to be 797 Berkshire Avenue. And as you can see, this is, this is the parcel that was advertised, 797 Berkshire Avenue. But there's this parcel in the back that is also part of 797, but it's known as, uh, I think, North Side Berkshire Avenue. So that, that's the reason he, he wants to rezone the entire parcel. So he's now coming in, doing an A&R plan, which combines these two together. It's actually three. There's a little, there's a little parcel over here. So it's one, two, three. These are the residents on, as you can see, Babin Street's directly to the north of this. So um, so it, it so tonight it's just the it's just the A and R plan, whereas he will combine uh, all the lots into one. So how far is this from Cottage Street? Cottage Street is literally right here. You know, it's 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 across the it's it's basically it's across almost, the street. Yeah, it's, it's it's almost directly across from Babin Street. Okay. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. Um, this is an easy one on Paramount Street. It's, it's just currently two lots. They're removing the lot line in the middle to make it one. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And the last one again, it's just another, it's currently two lots on the corner of Wilbur and Freeman. And they're just, they're, they're removing the lot line in the middle to make it one. Move to approve. Second. So All again, those in favor. Oh, sorry. Aye. 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 Okay. So again, just quickly, I, I, I was, I was saying this earlier. The, the governor did uh, extend some of the um, emergency measures that were in place that expired on the fifteenth. One of those is, is the ability to continue doing Zoom meetings. The actual date that he continued them to was April of 2022. I don't know whether the city is going to continue to want to do Zooms. You know, once I, I think it's the goal of the city council to come back in September, but I, you know, I don't have a definitive answer. So moving forward until I hear differently, the meetings will continue on Zoom. If I do hear differently, I'll certainly let you know. But as of today, that's what I'm going with. Okay. Uh, so um, certainly the July meeting and, and will be uh, on Zoom. And so as soon as I hear and you, Can you just confirm the dates of the other meeting? Now I'm confused. Oh, sorry. Well, so the, the, the next meeting would be July 14th. And then the August one is the 18th. Again, I, I, I think I, I usually try and do it on the first or second or third uh Wednesday, I don't know why I picked July 14th, but I did, so. Yeah, okay. I mean, hopefully that works for everybody, but. Putting it on my calendar. Okay. All right. All right. That, that's all I have. So okay. actually, on, on, and on the 14th, it, I think I have a couple more days for, for advertisement, but so far it's only gonna be this, this continued item for the liquor license. Okay. Does he have, does, Bill, does he have to get our approval before he goes before the liquor board or can it? Yeah, I mean, technically I'll talk to This is kind of a unique one since it's it's kind of a no brainer, but um, that's usually how the license commission works. So, I mean, it doesn't sound like he's in a huge rush so hopefully it won't postpone him too long, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk with Peter Signatore in the morning. Is it possible that we could vote on it and then he could go right to the other meeting? Well, that's what I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Peter to see whether or not that can happen. Okay. Is it possible just to move the meeting up maybe at five o'clock just for this one little thing? I don't know about anybody else. 
Well, I mean, I guess the, the only concern I have with that is that, that that was not what was in the legal ad. So I, I'm a little- Oh, okay, about, never mind, forget right. about it. Zoom, I don't know if that makes a huge difference because there's no there's no public tuning in, but I can, I'll find that out and if there's a way I'll let you know. But I, I'll, I will talk with Peter and see if there's a way that they can, maybe they delay theirs by 10 minutes or something and then he joins that one, so I will. Okay, maybe there's people in front of him or something. So if we move him out of order, you know, and do it quickly, well, again, he's going to be the only one, so far, he's the only one on the agenda, so. So that would be pretty quick. Yeah. All right, I'll take a motion okay. to adjourn. All right, so moved. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. All Thank right, you. all those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, have a good week, everybody. Have a nice night.